Hello and welcome to Optics Trade YouTube channel. Today we're doing a review on Sightmark Wolverine CSR. Sightmark was first introduced to the public at SHOT Show in 2007. The company was started to fulfill the needs of modern shooting market. In 2011, they moved their headquarters to Mansfield, Texas. They deal with manufacturing red dot sights, rifle scopes, chamber laser bore sights, night vision devices and similar. They've become quite popular in a very short time, even here in Europe. Sidemark came up with a unique design for their Wolverine. It looks as if it was from a sci-fi movie, which is pretty cool. This tube-based sight is designed so that you can quickly acquire targets when shooting at close range. It will be used mostly on shotguns and short barrel rifles. Battery compartment is located here and Sidemar did well by designing this illumination system so that it is powered by, it, by an AA battery. AA battery can be purchased pretty much everywhere, so this is a great feature. Wolverine CSR is about 9 centimeters long and weighs 282 grams. The device is nicely covered with rubber to protect it from blows, impacts and unnecessary falls. You can see that even the turrets are protected here on the sides. This is a nice feature. When you purchase this sight, you also get this rubber cover to protect the lenses when you're not using the device. You also get a hexagonal tool, four small screws, a battery, a lens cloth and an operation manual. And the sight also comes with a Picatinny mount and a riser, which you can see here in between the device and the Picatinny mount. When purchased, the riser is already installed and it is then up to the user whether he or she wants to remove it or keep it installed. And that largely depends on the type of firearm that you're about to mount this sight on. If you're planning to use it on a bolt action hunting rifle or a shotgun, then low profile mount height is recommended and you should remove the riser for that use. But if you will use it on an AR platform with a flat top, a riser is needed for absolute co-witness with iron sights. This process of removing the base is nicely explained here on page 6 in the operation manual. So if you remove the riser and you want to install the mount directly on the device, you want to use these four smaller screws provided in the box. And this is also nicely explained on the same page. The device features elevation and windage turrets. As I already mentioned, these are protected with caps and additionally with rubber on the sides. And these caps are a little bit difficult to remove because of this protected sides, protect, uh, protective rubber here on the sides, but it is nevertheless a great feature. So, to rotate the turrets you're, you need a special tool or a coin and as you can as you can hear the clicks are crisp and audible also rotating the turret is very easy this caps are nicely connected with the device with this rubber bands which is a great feature since it prevents the user from losing them turrets have MOE clicks meaning that each click moves the point of impact for approximately 3 centimeters on 100 meters. Both turrets are counterclockwise turrets. Sidemark Wolverine CSR comes with a warranty period of 3 years. The device features a 4 MOA dot. There is no tin when looking through the glass. But the positioning of the LED in the device might be inconvenient for some. This part here is where the light source is, the part which covers the circle you can see it better from this side. It takes away some field of view and might bother some because the view is not in perfect circle. In the model with bigger objective lens, so Wolverine FSR, LED is located on the upper part of the tube and because the tube is larger when it comes to that model, the coverage is not that apparent. To turn the unit on, you have to press and release the up arrow. Once you do that, there are 10 brightness intensity level, uh, levels to choose from which is a lot. We have to keep in mind that this site costs less than 200 euros. Intensity levels 1 and 2 are meant for, for use with night vision devices, 
Three and four are for low light environment and the remaining five are for outdoor environments, including daytime brightness. Increasing and decreasing intensity of the dot is logical. Pressing the up arrow increases it, pressing the arrow down, pressing the down arrow decreases it. And to turn the device off you have to hold the up arrow for five seconds and the device will power off. The unit will also power off by itself to prevent battery drain if you leave it be for 12 hours. When you turn the unit back on again, the intensity will be as you set it when you turn the device off. Time to make a conclusion, so let's enumerate some great things about this device. We like that it is covered with rubber to protect it from falls, from blows, the fact that even the turrets are protected on the sides is nice. It is powered by an AA battery, which is a great feature. The clicks are crisp and audible. It comes with a, with a, ra with a riser, which means that you can uh, then adjust it to fit on any platform you wish to mount it on. We like that it has, a, that it has 10 brightness intensity levels to choose from, and we like its price performance ratio. The only thing, thing that perhaps bothered me is the positioning of the LED in the device. Sidemark could think of placing it elsewhere because it blocks some of the view, which is some, somewhat inconvenient. But some users might not be bothered by this feature as much. In overall, the device performs very well for its price. And for a low price of under 200 euros, you will buy a device with decent optical performance and design that is sure to attract attention. If you find found any of the information that I've shared with you during this video review useful, please be so kind to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys next time.